Now that we've learned about simple scalar types, let's see how we group these together into compound data types, data types composed of other data types. Let's start with arrays. Arrays are continuous groups of items. They have a fixed length, meaning they cannot grow as our program runs. And additionally, we must know this length at compile time. Finally, arrays are also heterogeneous, meaning that they can only contain items of the same data type. Declaring arrays is simple. They begin and end with opening and closing braces and contain a comma-separated list of items. If you need to provide an explicit type, array types are written as an opening and closing brace around the type of the array's items, a semicolon, and the length of the array. Of course, Rust usually can infer the type of the array for you. We can access items in our arrays using indexing notation. All indexes must be of numbers of type U size. Accessing an array with a number literal and an index that is known to be out of bounds of the array will produce a warning. If we try to access an item at an index not in our array, Rust will crash, known also as a panic. Now let's take a look at tuples. Tuples, like arrays, are linear groups of items. Just like arrays, tuples have a fixed size, known at compile time, and they cannot change sizes as the program runs. However, unlike arrays, tuples are homogeneous, meaning their items can be of different types. Creating tuples is similar to creating arrays, but instead of braces, parentheses are used. Declaring the types of tuples is also straightforward, albeit a bit verbose. The type is a set of open and closed parentheses, followed by a comma-separated list of each element in the tuple, even if all the elements are all of the same type. It's possible to create an empty tuple, which contains no elements. This might not sound very useful, since tuples can't change size as your program runs, but it actually comes in handy in many situations. Just know, for now, the empty tuple has a special name, unit. Getting items from a tuple is a bit different than from an array. Instead of indexing notation, we use a numbered dot notation. If we try to access an item at an index that is not present in the tuple, Rust will always give us a compiler error. This means we can't ever accidentally try to access an item not present in our tuple, but it also means we can't access tuples using indices stored in variables. Let's head over to VS Code for a quick demo of all this in action.